a quick video on how I make these yummy cereal milk fruity pebble cocoa bombs. A perfect gift. Hello, I'm Rox and welcome to my kitchen. If you're new here, my passion is helping you make sweet treats. Intro animation. Mm. Because adults need sweet things too. As some of you might know, I love me some fruity pebbles, but you can <laughs> use just about any cereal for this project. You just need a few supplies, about a two and a half inch half sphere mold, brush or plastic spoon, candy melts or white chocolate of your choice, hot cocoa, I use white chocolate, some sort of piping bag, optional things, glitter, marshmallows, and a second color candy melt. Recently, I discovered a brand that isn't Wilton candy melts. It melts way smoother and seems higher quality. I'm still testing it out a little. If you're using Wilton melts for this project, you're going to need some sort of coconut oil or some easy melts. By the way, all of the details are on Rockstar Bakes. I do this because if I learn something or wanna make a change, I can do it there, but not retroactively in this video. Here's my half sphere mold. No need to grease or oil because it's silicone. I'll link where I got these below. Add about a tablespoon of melt or chocolate and use a brush or spoon to pull the melt up the sides. A second option that I thought was fun is to add cereal to the melt. You can still use a brush or spoon to pull the melt up the sides. It slides a little more because of the weight, I think. And actually, I've made a bunch of cocoa bombs now and I find using a plastic spoon is a lot easier. Refrigerate after the first smearing and add a second coat. Slowly pull, oh, you, you don't need to see my face. Slowly pull and peel the molds away from the half spheres. To clean up the half spheres, you're either gonna to wanna to microwave a plate for two to four minutes or place a baking tray into the oven. Once these are cleaned up, I prepare to fill these. Add one to two tablespoons of hot cocoa of your choice. Add marshmallows. Add that optional glitter. Of course, add cereal. Here's the half with cereal in the shell. Add cocoa. There are the marshmallows. The glitter. And the cereal. And here's just one more because it's so fun to watch. Basically in the process, I melt the bomb halves twice. Once to get them a little more flush and a second time to attach them. I think the one thing to note about this is that sometimes the bomb halves create a suction when melting. So don't keep them on too long. And close the bomb. Make sure it's good on there. Sometimes it'll take a second melting. With more candy melt in a piping bag or Ziploc bag, cut off a small part of the tip and zigzag. While it's warm, start to sprinkle the cereal. With more candy melt in a piping bag or Ziploc bag, for this color, cut off a small part of the tip and zigzag. While it's warm, sprinkle the cereal. <laughs> I love that Fruity Pebbles are inherently rainbow themed. Whoa, M, G. Cereal milk cocoa bomb success. Let's melt some. This is a super hot cup of milk. Here's what it's like pouring the milk on top. Let melt completely. Mm. 
This is a super hot cup of milk. I'm going to place the cocoa bomb on top of the milk. Hit that bell notification and like to get my latest videos. Also, coming up is a playlist chock full of fun ideas. Thanks for hanging with me and see you soon. Oh, there are no bloopers. <laughs> I have like nothing else to share about my week. Um...